welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be making a video without a script. So the last couple of videos that I've made, I've planned pretty extensively uh, what I was going to say, and uh, today I'm not doing that. I have a very loose plan of what I'm doing, but yeah, it's it might come across as like rambly and all over the place, but uh, I'd like to do some more casual ish videos, you know, so that's what I'm doing. And today I'm going to be doing a painting uh, on this canvas. Um, it's, a, it's an old painting that I covered up. You might be able to see some marks on it, but it's a eight by eight inch canvas. And I'll be painting Flinders Street Station, which is the famous train station in Melbourne, um, which I'm doing because I took a trip to Melbourne last December, and I also am doing it on a small canvas because my back still hurts, and hopefully it won't take too long. I'm aiming for uh, two, three days, but yeah, I'd like to do something small and something that I achievable because big paintings at the moment are pretty brutal. So I'm going to get into it. <laughs> potion seller, listen to me. I want only your strongest potions. My potions would kill you, traveler. You cannot handle my potions. So you might have noticed in that last clip, I am sporting just a, a red hot fade, uh, which is honestly a little bit too short. I always think I want like a skin fade and then it's like, nah, that's a bit too short. I don't like seeing my head, but good thing about hair is it grows back. So I got it cut short because I like the idea of a ritual with cutting your hair. Uh, and I like to sort of like think of a haircut as like a fresh start and I feel like I needed a little bit of a fresh start because I've been dealing with some like head noise over the past like maybe a couple of weeks and by head noise I, I mean just you know depression and anxiety which are big parts of my life and I have learnt different ways of coping with it and I'm generally pretty good at dealing with it at this point but every now and then it does get a little bit tough and I think something really simple like a haircut is, is just a nice way of like I don't know just starting again I feel like I could probably mostly attribute my head noise to my problems with my back uh, mostly it's just because I, I can't do things that I enjoy which it sucks but I'm due for an MRI later this week, which will hopefully tell me more about whether I need surgery or not, which, you know, there's a level of head noise coming from the fact that I might need spinal surgery, which is pretty scary, but yeah. Tea break. That's two lights. I thought it was appropriate to, uh, to have a cup of Melbourne breakfast, which is a very nice flavor from T2. And if you have any tea flavor recommendations, leave them in the comments below. I am mostly a black tea drinker, but I do, I do like a green tea every now and then. I'm gonna leave it there for today. Um, I am starting to get like a, a cramping feeling in my leg. Um, 
yeah, and I'm exhausted, so I've done, I did a little bit more than in that time lapse. Uh, I've done most of the like blocking in phase, and tomorrow I'll sort of hopefully add some details, so yeah. Okay, day two. My strongest potions will kill a dragon, let alone a man. Got a nice rainy day today, and I thought I'd do a studio tour. Now, it's not a very big room. If it looks like I'm in my parents' basement, that's because I am uh, very thankful to them. Um, and yeah, it might not be as extensive as some other artists on YouTube. I think that so many people on YouTube seem to have like these amazing studio studios with like massive windows and lots of light and just have this sort of little room which I quite love but yeah uh, I'll show you around so I have these two uh, desks running along each wall here they're just IKEA numbers and they're really good they have like adjustable height so I can either sit down at one or stand up at one or mix and match and here we have the door I don't quite often wear is uh, my overalls. Been way too hot for long pants, so they hang by the door. I also have my homemade mall stick from a mop handle and a tea towel. <laughs> I keep all my camera stuff over there in the corner. And then have my computer just here, my desk easel. Gotta have the little dog. Behind the easel I have my uh, collection of postcards from like galleries and museums that I've been to. My aim is to get so many that they fill the wall and it looks a little bit abysmal at the minute but hopefully I'll get there. I have my Prismacolor colour pencils here, just some random tools at the back, it was my palette and stuff. I have a standing easel with uh, a uh, incomplete painting at the minute. I use this uh, LED lamp as my light. And it's really good because it's so bright, but it's actually almost too bright and I think I might need to buy a softbox for it. And so we go over to this desk and I keep all my paintbrushes, palette knives, keep all my paints hanging on a pegboard. Uh, I use a combination of different paints. I don't really stick to one brand, although the, uh, the Windsor and Newton is probably my favorite one. Um, I keep all my drawing stuff in like this old cutlery thing, which was just floating around the house and I pinched it. Graphite pencils, sharpeners, Erasers, blending tools, charcoal all in here. And I have this like little trolley that I keep with all my brush cleaners, gesso, linseed oil, a few other just bits and bobs. And uh, probably the most important thing is the, the Crocs with the Bob Ross uh, gibbets. But yeah. That's my studio tour, because I'm an influencer dog. <laughs> okay, day three. <laughs> Potion seller. Uh, I didn't get much painting done yesterday. I had a couple of like little odd jobs, actually one of which was getting these prints made. You can see it a little bit more detail in there, but I'm gonna try to get more painting done today. I mentioned before that I went on a Melbourne trip and like a very good vlogger, I took no footage, which 
some layered in footage of the actual trip would be nice right about now but I didn't take any like an idiot so you've just got this video of me standing in front of an easel <laughs> day eight day eight or seven I think it might be day eight because I missed it day and did very little on a couple other days but I don't know what day it is. <laughs> You've had your safe potion set up and I'll have mine. You're a rascal. Um yeah I'm gonna call it there. I uh I've got to a place where I think it's done and uh frankly I'm sick of doing it to be honest but I'm starting to realize like how slow progress has become with uh with my injury and how, yeah, just how much slower a painting like even this size has taken me because this should have taken me two or three days and yeah, it's taken nearly eight. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna go easy on myself. Um, I think overall the painting is a success. It, it has a few bits to it that I think I could have done better but yeah it's okay but yeah thanks for watching uh, if you could like and subscribe that would be amazing and yeah see you in the next one cheers bye